Many of you have been assigned research projects or have simply wanted to explore an idea. What was that like? Did you have someone guiding you through the process? Or did you simply start browsing through all the books, magazines, and websites hoping that the right information would just leap out? Did you start writing your own thoughts before even searching for information? Research is a process of locating information and compiling the ideas, but it shouldn't rely on chance. A systematic process to locate and compile information is the most efficient method of research. First, think about the purpose of research. Why do instructors assign research projects? What do they expect you to get out of doing research? There are several reasons, but they can all be summarized with the idea that students are on the path to becoming independent and responsible members of society and need to gather and assess information to make decisions. The goal may be to learn about a topic independently or explore in depth a topic introduced in class. Any research goal should include compiling information from a variety of sources to understand an issue from several angles. Also, current literature should distinguish misleading and false ideas from the information that has been the focus of professional studies. The final reason for research is to provide a venue to share new knowledge and ideas with others. If you don't share with others, the benefit of your research will not be realized. A class research assignment will often have some requirements specified by the instructor. There may be a page limit, requirements for the type and number of sources used, and many other elements. The instructor may assign explanatory report, an analysis or exposition of a major work, argumentative essay, or other style of project. In addition, the instructor may require a written report or essay, a speech or poster presentation, a YouTube presentation posted on the Internet, or other format to present the information. Some instructors assign or limit the choice of topics. Others allow the students to make their own selection. Unless otherwise specified, most class projects focus the material for the other class members as the audience. The other element of a research assignment is the amount of time allotted to complete the project. If someone chooses to do a research project, similar guidelines should be developed by the individual doing the research since there is no instructor. Still, the researcher needs to determine the topic or issue to probe and determine the length, the level of depth, and detail to be explored. The researcher will decide the final format and the intended audience and also choose the amount of time to devote to the project. Whether an assignment for class or independent exploration, all of these elements need to be considered to choose a project that is manageable. Most students enjoy researching a topic they find interesting or fascinating, and that is key to a positive research experience. Students prefer to research to improve their understanding of their chosen profession or discipline of study. So consider an issue that is of concern to your chosen profession. What topic sparked a lively discussion in class? You might find an interesting article in a magazine or newspaper that piques your interest. Any topic that holds your interest can be a research topic on the college level. Make sure the information on your topic is verifiable through some type of research study, such as surveys, experiments, observations, interviews, case studies, or analyses. Several disciplines focus their research in an analytical or theoretical mode, such as math, philosophy, and literature. After choosing a general topic, the next step is preliminary research. The purpose is to acquire background on your topic so that you are prepared to understand the advanced resources used in your research. This background information will also help you to refine your topic to be manageable yet in-depth enough for college-level research. This background information will introduce you to the issues and literature on the topic, and as a result, you might decide that this is not a topic for you to research at this time. Many students in the health sciences discover their topic involves advanced chemistry, biology, 
and the preliminary research helps them realize they are not ready to research many medical conditions. However, not all medical issues are dependent on a thorough understanding of the advanced sciences. Be ready to adjust your topic or even change your general topic. As a result of your preliminary research, verify that it is a topic that you will enjoy probing extensively. Then select the specific focus area for your topic and a few research questions that your research will address. Make sure these research questions are within your topic focus area. You may wish to consult with your classmates and your instructor about the refined topic and schedule some time with them. After determining the focus of your research, the search for sources begins. There are a variety of magazines, newspapers, journals, books, websites, and other sources with material on your topic, and an appropriate article may greet you while casually browsing a magazine or the internet. The research process should be a systematic process, and there are efficient means to use resources to locate materials. This class is designed to teach you about library resources to locate research materials to successfully complete research assignments, in addition to the Internet. The library catalog is a database of material owned by the university. Academic Search Complete is a general periodical database of magazines, newspapers, and journal articles. And there are many subject-specific databases as well. All of these are available through the Internet, although access is limited to students and faculty of the university. Many materials are available through Google and other search engines as websites. In this class, we will use all these resources to locate materials on your topic, and you will cite them and evaluate them as explained with the score assessment. As you gather credible and relevant sources on your topic, you will need to gather information from them. Carefully read or view each source, taking notes from them, and provide the citation information for each piece of information. When you have finished taking notes from your sources, sort and compile the information into concept groups. If there are sources that disagree, you will have to determine what the evidence supports but you may also need to include a discussion of opposing opinions. Decide what information belongs in your research and put aside what does not belong. Do not throw out any materials if you disagree with the author. As a student learning about your topic, you need to be open to the ideas presented and share all avenues of understanding on your topic, including those you disagree with. If you disagree or find fault in the reasoning presented, discuss that in your research. However, the focus of your research project is to present the current level of knowledge on your topic, especially as it addresses your research questions. The composition phase is the preparation of your research content for your audience. Develop an outline of information gained from your research and make sure to include the source information for each idea Make sure to note which sources are used. They should be included in your references or works cited page at the end, in addition to the footnotes or in-text citation. Remember that less than one-fourth of your research project should be material from other sources. The majority of the material should be your comments and conclusions about that information. Most students write the first draft, then review and revise several times before submitting projects to their instructor. Remember, research is to learn independently, but also to share the knowledge gained. Submit it for an assignment, share with your classmates, or submit for publication, but share.